welcome back. I know this looks a little different, but like I said, Saturday is going to be a free day, and I just kind of wanted to play with the royalty mod a little bit. You've been hearing me talk about that for a while. Just have some fun with it, maybe spin up a little story, but kind of not have to worry about all the rules and stuff that come with Ultimate Decades, and keep it short, because <laughs> I've started a lot of really long things. So uh, let me introduce you to our royal family here. So we are going to start with the king. This is King Ishan Oasis. We're in Oasis Springs. Um, I downloaded this from the gallery and just furnished it. He is good, family-oriented, and of course a monarch because you have to give the first monarch the monarch trait. He, um, let's see, he's mischievous, but he's not very good at charisma. So like he's not a great talker, which is kind of hard for a... Um, for a monarch, but he is very beloved. He is loved by everyone. He always goes out and like through his actions, not his words, is, you know, the guy. Um, this is his wife over here. His wife is Mirella and she is self-assured, family-oriented, and a genius. She is also his regent uh, because their child is actually not old enough to inherit, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, continuing in the vein of his family, uh, across the other way, this is his brother, um, Kanan, and he is family oriented, proper and romantic. So he is, um, the younger brother of the King. I know that I didn't give the mages, but, uh, he's the younger brother of the King and he is also the, um, where is it? Well, he's supposed to be. The, uh, um, what's it called? Advisor. He's, I gave him that trait. I don't know where it went. We can give it to him again later, I guess. Uh, but he's supposed to be the advisor. I wonder what would happen if I clicked here. Yeah, order a tax raise. Yeah, okay, so he is the advisor. I just don't know why it doesn't say that in his panel. Um, his, okay, uh, still in the royal family, we have... Um, the prince, who is the king and queen's son. This is Tenzin. He is the heir. Um, he is bookworm so far. He's really into his studies and stuff. He looks so much like his mom. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, and then we have Rosalind, who is actually Kanan's wife. So Rosalind is married to Kanan. Um, she is from another kingdom. She's the princess of another kingdom from Windenburg. Her brother is the king of Windenburg right now. Um, and she is mean, snob, and self-absorbed. So <laughs> you can see where that's going. Um, but yes, she married into this family. And they have a daughter. This is their daughter, Reva. She is a snob and self-absorbed. She's very much like her mother. So um, that's her. And then lastly, you'll see someone at this table. This is actually um, Sean Azad, and he is the court wizard. So I'm thinking in in this save, court wizards are kind of like sort of a spiritual, but also sort of like the mages from The Witcher. So like it's kind of a combination of like things I've read in comics where, you know, each, you know, they're like advisors but like on behalf of say like a holy city or you know we'll say on behalf of the watcher who is me um so they are kind of assigned to royal families like the mages and the witcher where they are here to you know assist with diplomacy and then also use their magic because he's a spellcaster use his magic in order to be able to um you know help in any way he can if like war breaks out or if, as is going on right at this moment, um, is the, I didn't queue up anybody to eat anything, um, is the plague. There's a plague going on right now in this kingdom, as I am saying. And so it is going on in this kingdom and everyone's really worried about it. Everyone is very concerned and having kind of a hard time. Um, obviously, everything is very like secluded because of the quarantine. Where are you going, child? Um, okay, everyone's getting up from the table, as you know, it goes with this game. But yeah, so uh, it's tough. Um, 
the kingdom is going through some hard times right now. There is a plague and they are doing their best to mitigate it. The king is like boots on the ground out there trying to help people because that's just the kind of guy he is. Um, and while the queen has been handling a lot of the duties. Um, so actually with the royalty mod, we can't, did I already change it for him? Yeah. So he's the Maharaja because I don't know, we're obviously doing something like Indian inspired. Uh, she doesn't have a title yet. So let's change her title. She is going to be the Maharanji. No, Jani. Maharanjani. Yeah, that's how you, it's spelled. Um, so there's that. And then, yeah, so everyone's just having their dinner. It's late already. But yeah, so let me know what you think about this kind of play, gameplay. I know that... Um, some people have been asking for a not fast forwarded video. So here it is. <laughs> I'm also really bad at editing. So you're going to see that. Um, but yeah, so I think that this could be a fun little uh, excursion, little side track from some of the things we've been working on just so that we can uh, get a little break from the very long haul that is all of our ultimate decades challenges. So let's go in here. That looks like a child's homework. <laughs> That looks like your homework. Can't pick it up for some reason. Put in inventory. Okay. Um, where is... I saw someone reading the correspondence book, but I don't know who took it. We might have to buy a new one. Because we need a correspondence book for uh, being a royal. So let's go find that. Do, do, do. So he needs one so that he can do like a lot of work on it. Except I don't see it here maybe it was it up higher okay we might have to go into build mode to get this so yeah um, I tried to use everything from the royalty mod in this house again I did download it from the gallery and then I just added in like you know a ballroom a little throne area this is the dungeon and the dungeon guard will sleep here once we have one little sitting area game table and then of course the um office of the monarch core okay here's the problem i don't know how to spell okay here we go correspondence book so yeah and then we saw the the dining room the kitchen is attached to that and then upstairs kitchen dining upstairs we do have some bedrooms we have a nursery bedroom uh bedroom bedroom and then actually i don't think i have a bedroom for the um the court wizard. Um, yeah, because this is the prince's bedroom. Okay, well, you can sleep in the dungeon for now. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, okay, so yes, we are dealing with a plague, and it's really bad. It's really very bad. So let's have him... Let's have him... Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what these mean. Like, okay, so we can write journal entry, send correspondence to member of royalty, nobility, review kingdom finances, put an in inventory. Okay, threaten with millet, strong. Okay, so these are, how about, no, not gifts. Okay, so we are in a crisis. So let's send a request for funds to, um, Richelis, that's King Richelis of Windenburg. That is the brother of Rosalind. And um, so we have an alliance with him because, you know, we had a marriage into the royal family. The prince married his sister. And um, so we have an alliance with him. So let's write to him and ask him for some help because we are dealing with the um, plague right now. And that is not good <laughs> for us. So. We are trying to go going to ask him for help. And then it should be tomorrow morning. Let me fast forward. Tomorrow morning, we should get a notification like, do you want to do the royal daily duties? And we'll say yes to that. But um, for now, we will just do that. Let's see. What are you thinking? My dog is crying. He wants to become friends with his niece. He's just like a nice guy. Like, that's what I get from him is he's just like, he might not be the most well-spoken um, but he is 
like a really good guy who does a lot for his people. So that's what I'm thinking there. Um, so he's going to do that. Why don't we send him out? Well, laws. Okay, so let's see. What's What are the laws? Outlaw, power s consumption, witchcraft, cheating, multiple children, mischief, dairy for peasants, purple clothes for royalty, for, enable or disable welfare for peasants. So let's... Let's, yeah, let's enable welfare. Obviously, the country is in a crisis, and because of that, he is going to do everything he can to support his people. So there's that. What else can we do here? Open military overview. Ooh. Let's check soldiers. We have zero soldiers. <laughs> oh, boy. How do we increase our amount of soldiers? How do we do that? Um, and 1,500 soldiers. Oh my gosh, how do, okay, so how do we increase the number of soldiers? I don't know. Let's, let's send a correspondence to his brother, even though we live in the same household. Oh, look, his son is here. Okay, well, obviously I called him to come get his homework, but let's uh, say that his son that likes to watch his dad, likes to, to study, likes to, uh, he's a bookworm, so he, where are the chairs on this chess table? Um, anyway, he's a bookworm, so he is very much going to be doing his best to learn as much as he can and all of that stuff. So there's that. He's writing a correspondence. What are we doing over here? Um, why don't you clean up because I don't have a maid right now. Um, <laughs> I didn't get everyone we need for uh, the mod yet. I want to just start small and expand uh, as we play. But yeah, so this is the family. What are you doing? I feel like she, what is this? Royal quarters snobs. Okay, let's have her and her mom chatting let's tell an unbelievable story to mom also so Kanan is romantic proper family oriented but like he's not how do I say this without being mean he never wanted this marriage he was you know he agreed to it because of um diplomacy because of the relationship between the two kingdoms he agreed to to marry Rosalind but he did it out of the family-oriented trait to his biological family, not to, you know, his wife. So they can give it to a lady-in-waiting to set it off. We need a lady-in-waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's add a lady-in-waiting. Um, but yeah, so he, he has, he's family-oriented and loyal, but to his kingdom, to his family, like his brother, um, he doesn't particularly like his wife, and he just married her because that was the thing he had to do as a prince of this kingdom. And, um, yeah, <laughs> so it was not great. But, you know, he did his duty. He had a daughter with her, and he is just trying to be everything that he can be. But, shall I say, I guess we'll... So this is going to be a lady in waiting for the whole royal family, but let's say she's like came with Roslyn or something. Uh, maybe she wants to be a friend of the world. So she, okay, we'll just add her in here. She is ambitious. She is, what else should a lady in waiting be? She should be loyal, obviously. Um, Let's make her proper. That would be appropriate. So. Let's give her a different hairstyle. Actually. Just go back here. This one's actually cute. And. Yeah, let's give her this one. Um, honestly, I'm not really interested in doing a whole creative sim thing here. So I'm just going to give her a quick makeover. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, then let's get her an outfit, and I will call it good. I'll just copy and paste the outfit. Um, what should she wear? What should she wear? I think we already have someone wearing that. 
don't want to like copy outfits, but also, how about this one? This one's pretty, except we don't have it in red, so we can't match her hairband there. This is fine. This is just fine. Okay. Let's give her some bracelets. Not those bracelets. Um, these bracelets? Yeah. Okay. She looks good to me. Except she doesn't have a name. Okay. Um, what should her name be? I mean, we're in... We gotta keep with the theme. So let's name her if I can find my list of names that I had originally had. Um, okay. Let's name her... Tamia. Um... I'm sorry my dog is crying you know okay so here's the deal with the dog <laughs> my dog has been so needy lately I mean she's not fixed if you know what I mean but she's been very needy lately and she is just constantly in my space constantly crying for pets constantly crying for food like she is just so needy right now and I can't wait for the month to be over <laughs> but anyway um, yes, so we have our lady in waiting now, so we need to give her the letter so that she can send it off into the same household, but that's fine. So let's just get back to the household, and we will, um, select, okay, so let's get her, and then we'll select the king. Okay, apparently there is a chair there, and first, in order to become a lady in waiting, she needs to have a noble title so let's give that to her yep. okay everyone's good and so she is now a noble look at that animation and then we are going to after that assign her to be a lady in waiting no not oh my gosh she finds him attractive maybe she's like i mean not to be stereotypical but Maybe she is like one of those ladies in waiting who is trying to get close to the king because she wants to have some special privileges. So designate as lady in waiting. Okay, so now she's a lady in waiting if she agrees to that. Okay. And then we will give her the letter. How do I do that? Um, okay. Give correspondences to send. Cool. Okay. So she is going to send those. And then I guess maybe when the mail is delivered, uh, we'll be able to... Oh, he collected everything from the box. Okay, let's see. We have two letters already? Ooh, all right. Let's open the envelope. So what's this? Read Tuesday's correspondences. Let's see. Okay, he's reading it. Is it gonna tell us anything? Or is he just reading the correspondences from the day? It's like nothing special. Not a response. Oh, he looks a little mad. Okay, let's open this one. Oh, it says the same thing. Okay. Let's read it. How do I know if these are responses like from the people that I sent correspondences to? I don't know. Okay, he seemed happy about that one. How do I... Okay, so... Send correspondence, send correspondence, review kingdom finances, reply to correspondences. That must be it. Okay, let's reply to correspondences. Why are you angry? Witness inappropriate behavior. Oh, he's mad that his wife and daughter are acting like a mess and having a difficult family dynamic. Okay, okay. So let's, let's have a bad conversation. Argue about parenting. He is not happy that that about this. So let's argue about parenting. Where is she? Just hanging out out here. Okay. We can't really host any parties right now. 
because I just said there's a plague going on. So obviously people are not going to be coming to um, any parties. We'll end the plague soon, but what is this? Oh, cool. We should keep that. Where should I put it? I guess over, over here. I don't know. Um, okay, he's replying to correspondences. I kind of like this. It kind of feels like an active career. You know, it feels like something we can do. I want to see what happens in the morning when we... I can give it to Lee. Okay, uh, I want to see what happens in the morning when we're able to... Where's the... Oh, here it is. Let me just fix their needs because I don't care about your needs. Um... I want to see what like the daily assignments are. So let's get her in here so that he can send his correspondences. Okay, there she is. And we are, no, why do they find each other attractive? You are supposed to be super in love with your wife. He is super in love with his wife. Okay, but you know what? When you see someone attractive, like I understand he thinks she's attractive, but he's not going to act on it, obviously. She probably wants to act on it, but he's not going to. Okay, correspondences have been sent. We're looking for a response soon. Let's um, let's come here and change this game to or gamble. Let's. He really shouldn't be gambling, but um, let's play cards with. No, I want to play cards with his brother. Go here. Play cards with. Why can't you play with your brother? You go here too. Play cards with. Thank you. Okay, so they're going to have a conversation. Oh, you can't. Why? I mean, it's probably because it says don't wink the llama, even though it's not don't wink the llama. Okay, let's change the game again. Come on. Sometimes I think this game hates me. Okay, there we go. Play cards with. Okay, so we're going to play cards and they're going to talk and, um, you know, his brother is his advisor. I mean, obviously his wife plays a very big advisor role as well to him, but like she's the royal partner. She's the regent. He's the advisor. He's the person who, um, you know, he trusts very much. You know, that's his brother. He trusts him. He believes in him. So advocate, advisor, titles. Okay, advisor. Let's lower the taxes because we really should lower the taxes because we're in a plague and we are having problems and, you know, the people are suffering. So it's really important that we do that. Okay, family oriented. Oh, is there a way to like see how well we're doing as a monarch? I think it's like in the reputation tab. Yeah, I think it's just like having a good reputation. Um, so there's that. And then. I guess, no, let's wait for the day to start to see about our daily um, things. And then we will, let's have actually, let's have Mirella go out and, so what she can do is, where, maybe royalty mod, okay, so rabbit holes. So like charity rabbit holes, and then there's, Nobility rabbit holes, visit Taylor, stroll around gardens, socialize, join hunting party, opera, afternoon tea, horseback riding, attend court. Didn't I just unclick that or did I hallucinate that? Okay. Um, so let's have her attend court because she is um, trying really hard to keep things together. So let's have her go attend court. And then the king... When are when will the things come up for the day? Um Um Do I have to like go here? Go here. Let's review kingdom finances. And let's also reply. Oh, I guess we have to reply to each correspondence. So there's that. And then. Okay, so you do that. I wonder how I get more soldiers. How do I do that? Um, let's go to the tutorials. <laughs> um, 
Changeable titles, error da, 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 da. I don't know. Maybe if I do a find on soldier. Okay, all duties. Daily duties. You'll randomly assign daily duty to perform that day. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, but I don't see any. Did I mess it up? Oh. I did mess it up. Go to lot type and navigate to the lot challenges section. Okay, hold on. I messed this up. Um, so what I need to do, because I added in... I added in like the Royal Castle trait, but I didn't add in the Daily Duties trait. That's my bad. Okay. Um, okay, Mirella has returned from court, even though, okay, it says a long session, but you really weren't there that long. Um, okay, so a lot challenges, Daily Royal Duties. Okay, that's what we need. Okay. She has a good reputation. Oh, good for her. Okay, he's doing his thing. How was it? Tell me. Count on me, feeling great. Okay, well, she didn't get like a, anything from that. But let's bring her here to talk to her husband. He is feeling very play playful. Okay, but is there anything else I need to do besides the daily duties? You'll be randomly assigned a duty to perform that day, ranging from solo tasks to sims coming to visit your monarch solo task completed when and end with a pop-up. Um... All duties will either add or remove money from treasury soldiers to and from military and happiness to and from the empire happiness. Some duties require other objects such as the correspondence book. You can click on your monarch at any time and choose check daily duties. Okay, so maybe I think we missed it for today, but maybe we can still check them. Check daily duties. No. You can check the amount in treasury, which I think is like zero because... We haven't done anything to increase the money. Oh, we have 150 coins. Okay. Okay. What can we do with that money, though? Ah, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, let's look up treasury. There's only one. Okay. Uh, maybe it has to do with that military stuff, like open military overview. Check soldiers, fun military training, coastal raid, mountain ambush, blockade, expedition. Okay. Wow. We should try and do some of those, except it looks like <laughs> it's going to take us a long time to build up that amount. Um, okay, so here is your wife. Why don't you go talk to her? Um, we haven't spent any time together. <laughs> Tell her a funny story. Yeah, so... Let me just go and fast forward since apparently we have to wait until tomorrow to do the duties. Also, this video is probably getting long, but uh, where's my court wizard? Okay, you should like be practicing your magic or something because um, you're not doing anything else. So there's that. And then where are you? Okay, she, I feel like she would like still be going out and spending money and all of that stuff. So let's nobility rabbit holes. Let's have her visit the tailor. So she would be getting new dresses and stuff. So off she goes. Where are you? Maybe you should do something too. Everyone should be doing something at all times. Maybe we would do a charity rabbit hole. Um, let's attend a fundraising gala so that he can fundraise uh, to help get money for the people who are sick. You guys, I don't see any chairs there, but that's okay. Um, let's then... Um, romance. Well, let's flirt. They're married. Oh, they have another sentiment. Okay. Um, let's see... They're flirting. They're having a good time. He wants to leave a note for someone. What are you doing? What can ladies in waiting do? Oh, she's burning to death. That's what she's doing. Let's get you inside. Um, so go here. Um, okay. 
Lady in waiting. Let's see what she can do. Royalty mod. Okay, so she has the same things that everybody else has. No. Oh. No, I don't see anything. Maybe Roslyn, come over here. To the lady in waiting. Ladies in waiting. Let's have her make us some tea. Except I don't think she can because we don't have a tea maker. Okay, Kanan is doing well. What is this? Feeling bitter about someone nearby. Oh, it's her husband. <laughs> Awkward. Um, okay, so there's that. And then... Um, all right, the kids are back home. Our son should be doing his homework because he's a hard worker. Okay, let's save the game. What do I want to have him do? Oh, I love them. Let's have him. Royalty mod, nobility, no. Uh, charity rabbit holes. Let's have him visit the hospitals. I feel like that's something that he would do is he would go and he would be visiting all of the sick people and trying to help them. He's a very hands-on king, like I said, because um, he is not that great at speaking, but he's really just someone that they can depend on and rely on, and he's always there. Um, so... Hi, dog. Hi. Um, why are you crying? Stop crying. Okay, so she is feeling flirty now. Okay, he's still practicing his magic, as you should. Um, everyone get in the house. Come on. Okay, so... Maybe he's going to try with his daughter. Let's see. He doesn't really like his wife that much, but like this is his daughter. So let's lecture her about responsibilities. <laughs> oh, man. I just think that he's like not that good. Have a deep conversation. I think what he's he's trying. OK, let's see what his strengths and weaknesses are. Um, hard pass on the hard sciences. Oh, slow learning parent that really makes sense. OK, so he's not very good at the parenting thing. And so he's basically he's trying to talk to his daughter and he's like, you know, trying to be like, sorry, I'm reading these. Um, apparently the country is neither happy nor unhappy. Um, but yeah, so he's trying to talk to his daughter and just be like, hey, you have to act better. You have to, like, he's trying to give her advice, but it's not working. Like, it's not, she's not taking it the right way. She's taking it as a criticism where he's really trying to just be like, hey, like you, you know, you're not doing great. <laughs> like, you're not doing so great. So um, you should be trying harder. And she does. She's not. It's not coming across. So he is not the best parent. <laughs> uh, OK, so. Um, what should we do next? Why don't we come over here to her? Maybe they should try for another baby. What do you think about that? Let's uh, let's have them woohoo. I still have my ultimate decade settings on, so they have a 30% chance of getting pregnant. Let's let's woohoo. Wait, try for me. Oh, we don't have enough people. Like we have too many people in this household. <laughs> oh man. Um. Okay. Well, I guess they can't try for a baby. I probably shouldn't have all these people actually living with us, but that's fine. Um. Okay. So you're fine. Why don't we? Why don't we, what should we do? Oh, I made a club. I should add people to the club. You go there, and then you also need to join the club. Uh, let's start a gathering, and let's have everyone dance. I don't know. I just feel like it would be nice. A little Something a little lighthearted during the hard times, you know? So anyway, I should probably wrap this up soon because it's taking a while, but I do want to get through like the daily duties. I want to see that. So let's try and see that. Um, and then we'll 
we'll stop for today because obviously I'm not playing this on four times speed and because of that it is going to be a long video but I hope that you guys really like the um I hope that you guys like this type of video or let me know if you want to see more of these sims but you don't want to see it in like real time that you want to see it in fast forward like the other ones or I don't know I'm just trying something a little different and we'll see if it works or it doesn't but uh, I do also still want to get back to the uh, samurai challenge I'm not I'm not abandoning that I'm just you know alternating what I do on Saturdays or not alternating but like you know trying out different things and um because you know it's just like kind of daunting to look down the barrel of like I'm gonna need to do like 20 years um of of playing to get done with the Japanese one. So it's just like, that's so much. And I want to do so many different things with the Sims. And so I think I just need to be able to give myself the grace of being able to, you know, have that space. So, okay. So it looks like, uh, King Richelis sent us money. So that's good. Let's reply. Uh, okay. So we, no, we don't need that anymore. Let's write a journal entry. Okay, so even though he sent us money, he didn't send us, like, a correspondence, but that's fine. Um, so let's write a journal entry. And he's going to be talking about how he visited the hospitals and how he is, you know, seeing that his people are suffering so much. And, like, he just doesn't know what to do because it's not something he can solve. Like, he he's so worried about his people and stuff. And so let's actually call over the court wizard because he has magic. And so the king is going to kind of ask him, like, is there anything that you can do? Like, what can you do? And the king said, like, um, you know, I, I need you to help me. I need something. And so the, you know, the um, court wizard is talking about different things. He's talking about how, you know, he can like cast like protection stuff but it's not like he can't solve a sickness you know he can um if he was stronger which he's not he could be bring someone back to life maybe we'd say that that's only a skill that like the highest person in the like holy order can do can bring someone back to life so um they're talking to each other and he's basically like really is there nothing you can do for our people and, you know, he says he'll look into it or he'll correspond with the other court wizards and all of that stuff. But, you know, there's not much we can do here. Like, he can make food. <laughs> he can set people on fire, but he can't cure an illness. So, there's that. Oh, they have a sentiment. Well, the king really appreciate. Well, I guess, okay, so I did give him a different title. But the Maharaja really appreciates that the court wizard is doing his best and looking into it. Like he really just sees the best in people and really wants to make sure that they can, you know, Oh, self-absorbed. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically there, there's that is he really appreciates everyone who works hard to make things happen. Okay. So we don't have any correspondences. We have nothing to, New communications have been received. Okay, let's wait and see if we get our daily duties before, because if maybe one of our daily duties would be responding to correspondences. So let's see. Um, then we will, when do you think this happens? <laughs> uh, oh, good reputation. Oh, you're going to be such a good future king, Tenzin. Um, so I love that. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's eight o'clock. Like, when's this going to happen? Are the kids going to school? Like, come on. Don't you have school? You do have school. You should also have school. Class in 24. Is my game doing the weird time thing again? It might be. Let me just pause for a second. Cause so my game has this thing where it's like, um, my game has this thing where it, I'll be in fast forward or something and it will say that time is passing, but time is not really passing or it needs to like catch up with itself. So that's why, let me just pause for a second. You can see that things are coming in even though I'm paused. What is this whim? Practice hopscotch. Okay. Um, all right. Are you going to go to school or what? 
or what is apparently the answer to this. <sighs> anyway, uh, everyone's having a good time, dancing, having fun. Oh, look. And they're all getting good reputations. I kind of love that for them. They're having a good time. They're enjoying each other's company. Yeah, so Tenzin is the heir. So if anything happens to his father, then he will um, become... Well, so if anything happens to his father while he's still young, his mother will become the regent and she will be in charge of the kingdom. And then when he's old enough, he can become the king or the Maharaja. So that's what is going to happen there. I wish my game would catch up with itself because nothing's happening. On get a thing to go to school, please. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? What to do? <laughs> Let's go back here. Stop crying. Oh my gosh, this dog. <sighs> okay, so okay, daily duties. Yeah, uh, we don't have that right now. But let's see more choices. Go jogging, tech daily duty, laws and fines. Pay off fine. Dungeon guard, dungeon cell. Yeah, we need to have some problems with some people soon. But let's let's click on him and see if we have any daily duties. I did add that. You saw it happen. The chairs are not loading. Okay. Uh, military overview laws. Come on. This is all I wanted to do, and then we could stop. <laughs> um. Maybe I should like leave the household and come back. Let's do that. We can introduce each other to the other king, except I didn't make his family yet, but he does have a family. So let me talk a little bit about Rosalind's family. Uh, she is a princess from Windenburg. Her brother is the king. Um, and so, yeah, her brother is the king. And he has two children, a son and a daughter. And uh, his wife is deceased. So there's that. Um, I didn't make his wife or son or daughter yet, but I made him because I wanted us to be able to send correspondences to foreign royalty. So that's why I made him. Um, and I wanted, you know, to make her brother. So yes, he does have a son and a daughter. Um, and maybe we'll play with that royal family later. I don't know. Um, but here he is. King Richelis. Haven't done anything with him yet, but we can maybe expand this world together over time. Like, we can start off with this family and maybe do a little story for them and just have that, like, be our, our easy maybe couple of videos things. And then after that, um, we can maybe check out, like, a different royal family in this world or, you know say a different story. I kind of wanted a save file that I could just keep adding into like, hey, I want to tell a story about this. And then I can just come into the save and just make it like a related family. And you can still like the save will build on itself so that there's going to be plenty of Sims in the save and plenty of like other royal families to talk to and like maybe wars and different stuff. And so because of all that, like I can potentially just tell any story I want to tell. I just make a new family or go to a family and start telling their story. So I think that that could be fun to kind of play rotationally in a way. Um, but anyway, okay, it's 7.24 a.m. now. So that did fix it. So let's wait until 8 o'clock so the kids can go to school. All right, so she, yeah, okay, turn that off. He's talking to the court wizard still. Um, look how close he is to the kids though. Let's hug your nephew. He loves his nephew. Um, probably more than he loves his daughter. I think he's like totally like his brother is, was always the most important person to him growing up. And he really just, you know, he felt like his brother was just such a great person and he didn't know if he could ever live up to that greatness. And so he has had like a lot of insecurities in himself and he kind of puts his brother on a pedestal and thinks he's perfect and thinks his family is perfect and all this stuff where he thinks his own family is very dysfunctional. And so I think, you know, obviously everyone has their imperfections, but he doesn't really see that. Like he's, he's putting his brother on a pedestal in a way that he shouldn't be. He should be focused on, you know, his own 
life and his own family, but he is not, not, he's not, <laughs> he's more focused on how great his brother is. So he, he definitely looks up to his brother, but kind of not really in a healthy way. So when do you think I'll get the daily task? <laughs> I do have it, right? Um, let's double check. Did it like get deleted? Or maybe it will have more information on it. Maybe that's the case. I can like hover over it and it will tell me something because I just want to do that. And then we can stop because I know that this video is going to be long and uh, you'll have to let me know what you think about this type of video. But let's go here. Lot challenges. We have just real. OK, so step into the shoes of a monarch with a daily duties, lot trait, balance, blah, blah, blah. See cultural events. Each day is a new adventure. Your decision embrace. OK, it doesn't say. Um, Maybe nine o'clock, maybe at nine. I don't know. Our court wizard should go back to practicing magic. Ooh, a negative. Okay, let's have him go back to practicing magic because now he wants to, he's going to try and find a way to help with the, with the plague and stuff. So he's going to do that. I should, I'll send her back to court. She is the one who is like doing a lot of the, um, like paperwork kind of stuff while her husband is, going out and you know visiting the hospitals and and stuff like that so when you have everything when the world is at your fingertips you have servants to wait on you hand and foot and there's kind of something missing canaan ought to be happy but somehow can't oh <gasps> try for baby with roslyn does he think that having another baby will solve their problems oh here we go proceed with duties okay i should have read that but i didn't but I'm assuming it says the same thing that everything else says. Okay, proceed with duties. What are they? What are they? <laughs> um, hello? What are my daily duties? Oh, okay. You are expected to attend a philanthropic event today. You can do this by choosing the charity rabbit holes. Okay. I can do that. Is that it? <laughs> um, I guess we don't want too many things to go on. Okay, let's visit the hospitals again. So he's definitely out there. Um, okay, yeah, so there we go. Attended a philanthropic event. Is that our only duty? Okay, that's fine. Let's send him out. Okay, you need to talk to your wife because apparently, apparently, you... Uh, want to try to make things better with your own family so he's going to come and talk to her and he's going to have a conversation with her about you know their family and how he's trying to you know he's hoping that their daughter can you know be better he said she can be a better role model <laughs> for their daughter i think he's just like not good at can neither of these brothers are particularly good at, at getting their point across, which is kind of a, a shame there, but, uh, let's, let's apologize to her. He's going to apologize. And he's be look, I know that we've been having problems lately, but I just feel like we can turn this around. Like we have a wonderful child. He, he thinks that they could have another baby. <laughs> uh, he's like, well, maybe we can expand our family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Boast about family. Yes. Okay. So he's, he's like, our daughter is so wonderful. Like maybe we could have another baby. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what she says to that. Let's boast. What's wrong with you? Oh, are you about to like die? Where's uh? here it is. Nope. Here it is. Mirella has returned from court. Rosalind has a good reputation because they just became good friends. Why don't you come inside? Okay. So he is going to talk with her. You know what, though? Let's talk about their marriage. But here's the deal. I really think that she, when he then brings up having another baby... I think she is not going to be happy about that. She's going to be like, our child is already a teenager. Oh, she rejected him. She rejected him. His talk about their marriage. 
okay, so yeah, the conversation starts to go in, in a poor direction. And she's like, you think we should have another baby? You're an idiot. Like, I'm not going to have another baby. Okay, everyone loves... Okay, he has a great reputation. But yeah, she's not happy with this turn of events. She's like, no, we're not having another baby. I already had one. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> um, okay, so he... Let's have him go back to his office because I know we have correspondences we haven't responded to. So let's go back to his office. And we are going to... First, I'm going to check the daily duties. Just make sure that... We completed them all. Okay, so it's daily duty. So there's just one. And he already did it. Okay, so let's check correspondences. Oh, he's already got one. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, I can't... I can't open this? Okay. What is this? People are sending us, like, paintings and postcards. Okay, let's open this envelope. And we'll open this envelope. So what are these? Let's read correspondence. And then we'll read the other one too. Okay, so it's just like a little thing to do for the day. Just a couple of little monarch activities. Um, I wonder if this changes what's in like our treasury and stuff. We can check that in a second. Okay, first let's read this one too. Okay, and then check a mountain treasury. Oh my gosh, we made so much. I mean, we made so much more than we had. Obviously, that's not like a lot, but it's it is like how many how many soldiers do you think we have now? I don't know how to check. Oh, wait, there was something. Was it here? Um, let's send a gesture of good faith to Richelis too. Um, I don't know. I re don't, I remember seeing our soldier thing, but I can't remember where it was now. Um, anyway, this is where we're going to wrap up. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I am having a lot of fun with this family. I am excited about uh, their future. Let me know whether you like this long form in person kind of video or if you would prefer something more like what we do for our other videos where I play it and then tell you about it after. So let me know what you think. Um, I just thought that, that this would be a fun little experiment. So I will uh, catch you in the next one.